This is the third video on important questions in anatomy and the region that is considered here is the thorax. If you want to know how to answer different types of questions and how to prepare for the exams, then you must watch the video on important questions from upper limb. I'll put the link of that video in the description box. So let us begin. First, we will consider long questions. There are three uh, long questions which can be asked. First is on the coronary arteries or arterial supply. Second is from lungs, that is bronchopulmonary segments. And third is very important topic, that is thoracic duct. So let us see the first question is describe coronary arteries or it can be asked as arterial supply of heart under the following headings. So origin from where the coronary arteries arise and the course of the coronary arteries the right and the left coronary arteries then branches their branches and the areas of the heart that are supplied by them then you must uh, give, add a note on cardiac dominance what exactly it is and then the applied anatomy in applied anatomy you must write about angina pectoris and the anatomical basis for the myocardial infarction let us see which is the second question it is described bronchopulmonary segments under the following headings this is also very 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 important so here first of all you should define what exactly is bronchopulmonary segments then boundaries and contents of uh, bronchopulmonary segment then how many bronchopulmonary segments are present in each lung and the names of those bronchopulmonary segments in the right and left lung then comes the applied anatomy so here you must mention how the knowledge of bronchopulmonary segment can help in performing bronchoscopy or interpretation of bronchogram or drainage of uh, the abscess uh, from a particular segment and so on and how the uh, septa of the bronchopulmonary segments they limit certain diseases and not other diseases right so you should write in detail the applied anatomy obviously in all the long questions you have to draw diagrams also the third question is describe thoracic duct under the following headings that is from where does it take origin from the cisterna chyla in the abdomen then its course how it passes uh, through which foramen it uh, passes in the diaphragm and how its course in the thorax right so first on the right side then crosses to the left side and ends in the neck then tributaries right which are the tributaries of the thoracic duct and the areas of the body which are drained and applied aspect right the chylothorax if the thoracic duct is injured then what happens so these are the three important long questions let us look at the short notes or it is asked as described briefly so first is intercostal space you can ask about that you have to write about the intercostal muscles there the intercostal arteries and the intercostal nerve this is very important most of the time this is asked a typical intercostal nerve so its origin then its course its branches and the structure supplied by the typical intercostal nerve then coronary arteries can come as a short note also right instead of a long question then venous drainage of heart this is also very commonly asked you are supposed to write not only about the tributaries of the coronary sinus but also about the venae cordis minimi and the anterior cardiac veins which directly open into the chambers so you should consider that also then bronchopulmonary segments can also come as a short note here you have to describe them briefly then pleural recesses both the costomediastinal and costodiaphragmatic recess and their applied anatomy that is very important then transverse and oblique sinuses of, our, of the heart these are the spaces which are created because of the reflection of the pericardium and what is the clinical significance right that is also important then we have azygous system of veins right so here you have to write about the azygous vein hemiazygous accessory azygous vein the areas drained by them the tributaries of these and how the uh, the azygous vein uh, that uh, drains into superior vena cava and the applied anatomy how they can be helpful in collateral circulation then we have thoraco abdominal diaphragm this is very 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 important topic so because this is a very important structure also and uh, you have to write origin the three areas from where it takes origin the insertion the nerve supply phrenic nerve is extremely important and then the openings the three major openings at least that you have to write and the structures passing through them then we have a uh, superficial and deep cardiac plexus this is rarely asked but still you should mention how these are formed and which nerves are going to contribute to this 
thoracic duct can be also asked as a short note now we will look at the uh, diagrams right the questions asked as draw labeled diagrams right so first of all contents of a typical intercostal space you have to draw that showing intercostal muscles and the nerve and the arteries second is uh, branches of a typical intercostal nerve so instead of a short note it can come as a diagram also you just have to uh, draw the diagram showing the course and branches of typical intercostal nerve then structures passing through the thoracic inlet which clinicians call as thoracic outlet so this will be a transverse section showing all the apex of the lung then the main arteries the veins and the nerves which pass through the thoracic inlet that diagram cross section transverse section then structures passing through the hilum of right lung and obviously you can be also asked to draw the structure uh, diagram of structures passing through the hilum of left lung you can also be asked to draw a diagram of a bronchopulmonary segment so be sure what you are supposed to draw this is a bronchopulmonary segment you where you have to draw the detailed diagram of one particular bronchopulmonary segments so what are the structures which are present within the segment and the intersegmental septa and the veins are intersegmental so that is the one not the number and the name of the bronchopulmonary segments then we have bronchopulmonary segments of right lung here you have to draw and name the bronchopulmonary segments of right lung then you can have bronchopulmonary segments of left lung and next is uh, internal features of right atrium this is also very 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 important question right atrium what are the structures which open there the all the veins superior vena cava inferior vena cava coronary sinus uh, vena cordis minima then you have fossa ovalis there and you have the um, outlet the opening of the right uh, atrioventricular orifice so all that has to be shown then you also have to show the rough part and the smooth part of the right atrium next is arterial supply of heart it can come as a short note also uh, sorry uh, label diagram also so you have to draw the diagram showing the coronary arteries and then venous drainage of the heart this can also come as a diagram next is enumerate right so we have number of enumerations here first is contents of intercostal space i have repeatedly told you what you are supposed to write here then we have intercostal muscles and their actions right so that has to be written the three intercostal muscles and their action then contents of costal groove from above downwards right so you have to the vein right uh, vein artery van vein artery and nerve so that you have to remember but don't write just art vein artery and nerve you must write the intercostal posterior intercostal vein then the artery and the intercostal nerve that you have to write then branches of internal thoracic artery right that you can be asked to write then after that we have branches of a typical intercostal nerve right this is also now you can see certain topics are very important which are come which can come either as short note or draw label diagram or in enumeration right so once you prepare that uh, for one this thing for diagram itself then you prepare it for other question types of questions also then we have medial branches from the thoracic part of sympathetic trunk that is also very important so mainly the three uh, this thing uh, uh, have to be mentioned the three main branches which go to the uh, abdomen the greater the lesser and the least sphincteric nerves right and how they are formed there are other branches also from the sympathetic trunk which will supply the thoracic organs so those also have to be mentioned difference between right and left lung this is also important which can come then structures passing through the hilum of right lung now when you are uh, writing this uh, question it can be either asked as structures passing through the hilum of right lung from above downwards or before backwards and if it is not written then you also must mention whether you are writing these structures from above downwards or from before backwards that is very important right then we have structures passing through the hilum of left lung the same thing applies here also right so be sure that what is asked in the question in the question also itself it can be written uh, structures passing through the hilum of the left lung from above downwards or 
structures passing through the hilum of left lung from before backwards so uh, please check the question what is asked then we have structures related to the mediastinal surface of right lung similarly there can be a question on uh, structures related to the mediastinal surface of left lung so as i said you can be also asked to name the structures related to the mediastinal surface of the left lung then we have veins opening into right atrium we have already seen that and next is differences between right and left ventricle so this is also very important you have to mention these differences in the shape in the uh, number of uh, papillary muscles in the arrangement of trabeculae carnea inlet and outflow how they are different at which angle they are present then the tricuspid and bicuspid valves so those differences you have to mention then branches of right coronary artery and similarly you can be asked to write branches of left coronary artery so here you don't have to mention the structure supply because you just have to name the branches of these arteries right so this is an enumeration tributaries of coronary sinus the three main tributaries at least you have to written the great middle and uh, small cardiac veins and other small tributaries also you can write then branches of ascending aorta students often forget this because the branches of ascending aorta are the right and the left coronary arteries right and left coronary arteries all of you must be remembering this that is branches of arch of aorta then we have uh, main openings of diaphragm and structures passing through them this is also very 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 important you can be asked all the three openings or you can be asked only one opening and the structures passing through it the either it can be either aortic or inferior vena cava opening or the esophageal opening so all the three can be also asked then we have uh, sites of constriction of esophagus sometimes it can come as a short note also this is also very important right so you must mention what causes the constriction here and how what is the dif- distance of these constrictions from the incisor tooth then tributaries of thoracic duct that also can be asked when you uh, prepare for enumeration you are also preparing for your viva voce questions coming to anatomical basis uh, of the condition so first is thoracic inlet syndrome so what causes there there can be tumor aneurysm of the arteries and it can press upon the veins right uh, which are thin wall there and the nerves then what will be the signs and symptoms right so that is thoracic inlet syndrome this is often said as thoracic outlet uh, by clinicians instead of inlet then the cardiac pain due to angina pectoris or myocardial infarction is usually referred to the left precordium and medial aspect of left arm and forearm this is because of the uh, same spinal segments are going to supply these areas so you must mention those spinal segments here then is a prognosis of coronary disease is better in old age than in young because collateral circulation is uh, possible the anastomosis they have enlarged with age and that's why it is so then for aspiration of pleural fluid the needle is inserted just above the upper border of the rib or in the lower part of intercostal space this is to avoid injury to the structures which run in the costal groove remember the van so this you have to write then in inflammation of mediastinal and central part of diaphragmatic pleura the pain is referred to the root of neck and shoulder region this is because of the supply by the phrenic nerve it has root value c3 c4 c5 and supraclavicular nerve which supply the root of the neck and the shoulder region they it has root value c3 and c4 so that one has to write esophageal uh, varices which happen in portal hypertension so that has to be mentioned achalasia cardia why the smooth muscle of the lower end of the esophagus fails to relax right so that causes achalasia cardia so you have to mention that and then last is but not the least obviously this is also very very important mostly the aspirated foreign bodies are lodged in the right principal bronchus and the reason is because it is directly in line more in line with the trachea secondly it is broader and 
shorter also so these are the anatomical basis questions okay so we have finished thank you so much if you have not subscribed please subscribe so that i can put more videos if you want answers of these questions then you can get it from my website anatomyqa.com i'll put the link of that website also in the description box thank you once again for listening